let me ask y'all a question out there. Is it cold where y'all at? Huh? Is it cold? Look at that beard. Huh? Dang, growing too. About three weeks. Three weeks of growth. Let's get it. Big salute to all of my veterans out here. Big shout out to all of my subscribers, man. Like I tell you guys, I can't go a video without showing my appreciation. Big salute to all of my true owner operators out here, all of my motor carriers who are operating under your own authority. This video right here is just to give you guys some quick advice, some recommendations on pretty much how you could overcome this obstacle right now that we're facing. I'm talking about the price of diesel has basically doubled since the year 2021. One year ago, the price of diesel was on an average of $2.99 a gallon. Now the price of diesel is $5 a gallon. It's projected to reach $6 a gallon within the next two weeks. So basically that price of diesel is going to double in one year. So for you owner operators out here, owners of these trucking companies, you guys know that you are only paying about $1,000 to $1,500 a week in fuel. So now you're going to be paying anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000 or even more a week in fuel. We're talking five figures a month just in fuel costs. So of course that is ridiculous. But I'm going to tell you guys one thing about life, one thing about whether it's your personal life or business, you're going to be faced with challenges and obstacles. It's all about how are you going to basically overcome, you know, that challenging situation. One thing about me, I love my military experience. I love my military background. Just because one thing about the military, we're going to accomplish our mission, but we're going to be faced with those obstacles, you know, with those roadblocks, with those challenges. But in the military, this is what we say. You gotta adjust fire, shift fire. You have to adapt to what's going on. And then you have to sit back. You have to basically regroup. And then you plan and then you execute that new plan. Everything in life is not going to be peaches and cream, too. So for you guys out here as owners of these trucking companies right now, this moment is either going to make or break you. This moment is either going to discourage you from even wanting to come into this business. There's a lot of people that want to start a trucking company, but they're having this question. Hey, is the rise of fuel going to basically pretty much hurt the trucking industry. So let me show you guys and give you guys some information right now on things that I have done in my trucking business and maybe by me sharing this with you because I'm not a guy right now that's just like, oh man, the diesel prices is, you know, five, six dollars a gallon. You know, I feel that you have to always plan and be prepared too. So something that I've been teaching and pretty much preaching you know, throughout my YouTube channel is basically become the middleman. There's a lot of owner operators, a lot of trucking company owners right now that is still going through a dispatching service, still going through a freight broker. This is small and simple, but it's going to basically make you more profitable. If you guys learn how to dispatch your own self, if you guys learn how to secure your own loads, if you guys learn how to go get some direct shippers, by being a freight broker, either you're brokering out that freight to another trucking company or you're able to haul that freight with your own truck. But anyway, it go, you have cut the middleman out. One thing about the middleman is the middleman is going to eat and the middleman is going to eat well, too. So it don't matter what type of business you have. If you're going through somebody else, just know that they're going to be making money off of that transaction. So why not just cut the middleman out? and become the dispatcher for your own company. And also take that knowledge and start dispatching other owner operators, if that is going to be possible for you too, right? So when we're talking about cutting the middleman out on the broker side, while you're brokering out freight, you're building relationships. So 
take those relationships and turn them into direct shippers for your personal truck. So now you have cut the freight broker out. The freight broker is going to take two, three hundred dollars for every load. Right now, take that two or three hundred dollars put towards your fuel costs, too, so that you don't get discouraged and want to get out of this business. So this is very critical. Become the middleman. Learn how to dispatch. Become the freight broker. Utilize your fuel cards and your business cards. I don't know why I talk to so many people out here that are not utilizing their fuel cards. They're not purchasing their fuel with their business credit cards. Look, your fuel cards will come with reward points. It also could come with monthly rebates. So I know factoring companies out here, they'll give you a fuel card. And basically for every gallon you pump, they'll give you a certain base, a certain rebate back. So at the end of the month, you could get a fuel rebate back. So also, if you are using your business credit card, you could get reward points that you could turn into cash back too. So I know, of course, there's people out here that's already using fuel cards that's getting rebates, people that's using business cards business credit cards and getting reward points, but there are still plenty of people that's not out here that's doing that too, right? So very simple advice right here. It's money on the table, you know? Never leave any money on the table. I don't care if it's a cent. Increase your savings. This is very big right here. There's a lot of people in this world, like I say, personally or in your business, you're not very good with money. I've always felt that I've been, uh, I guess, fairly decent with money. And I'm just talking about saving, you know? I remember my mom used to tell me, don't be so stingy, don't be so tight with your money because as a young boy, man, if I get $5, $10, I wanna save it, you know? I always had that vision to be like, man, if I could save $5, you know, I'm seven, eight years old. If I could keep saving $5, one day I could get to $100. And I still have that same mentality right now. So my mom used to say, don't, don't be so stingy with your money, you know, don't be so tight. But sometimes you have to be. You know, me being tight with my money is basically helping me sleep better at night too. So I'd rather have money in my savings account than have money in the stock market right now <coughs> too, right? You know? So anyway, increase your savings. That's going to help you sleep better at night. And for the last piece of advice, you have to become a master at negotiating. And I'm talking about negotiating, whether you're purchasing trucks, trailers, whatever you're doing for your business. But the main part about mastering negotiating, I want to touch more on dispatching. So once you guys start dispatching and cut the middleman out and you become the dispatcher, you have to start mastering negotiating with these freight brokers until you guys become the freight broker too, right? You know, so make sure that you're getting the max dollar for those lows out here. That's where a lot of people will fail at in this business because they're not even getting the max dollar or the value of what they are basically worth for their truck. There's a lot of people that's leaving hundreds of dollars on the table with these freight brokers. When you're calling up these freight brokers, make sure that you are negotiating to perfection to ensure that you're getting max dollar. And if you're getting an additional two or three hundred dollars, that's basically going to help you out with this expensive fuel cost. And the fuel cost is only going to go up more to remember that. So real quick advice, man, become the middle man. Start you utilizing those fuel cards and business credit cards to get those rebates and those reward points. You got to increase your savings account, whatever it's going to take for you. You know, it could be putting up $200 out of every load, you know? So let's just say if you guys right now just haul a load for $2,000 immediately and off top put $200 in the account that you would never even touch, you know, out of sight, out of mind, have that $200 just coming out in the military. We used to call it a, 
what we used to call an uh, allotment, <laughs> you know? So you have a certain amount of money coming out your check or your settlement. And basically that'll go into an account that you're not even checking on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. So maybe you might want to set up something like that. You know, a master basically negotiating when I'm talking about on the dispatching side to make sure that you guys are getting max dollar out here too, you know? So if you guys have any questions, hit me up on my text message, 317-953-8943. Go visit my website, www.extraordinarymovement.com. Go get your 30-day free trial with DAT. Go sign up with TABS, Trans Am Financial Services, if you guys are looking for a factoring service. Also, if you guys are freight brokers looking for a factoring service, go sign up with Axel Payments. Everything in the description box below. Let's get it today. CEO, commit, execute, CEO, be commit, execute, be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.